Something we often use on a ski course is giving people the task of trying to turn in a really tight spot. Almost like trying to pivot right underneath yourself on your skis. It's labeled quite a few different things in skiing. You may have heard it being called a braquage, a zero speed turn, or a pivot turn. But what it kind of brings to light is do you have the ability to make a clean parallel turn on the spot? So to make a braquage turn, it's really important that you get the setup right. Um, remember, we're doing this at a zero speed. We make sure that the pole plant goes in the snow beneath you, usually for this exercise at a right angle between the tail of the ski and your foot. And when you're in this position, you wanna know that you can put pressure through the pole that allows you to make your, your body and your hips project down the full line. With no speed around you, that's gonna be a lot more difficult. So make sure the pole's there to support you. As you go through the turn here, I'm checking the flex is correct. So I'm over the middle of my skis, trying to get my hips and my shoulders vaguely facing down the full line. And as I go through the turn, the pole's taking the pressure, the hip starts to move slowly over my feet. As it moves over, the turn's made. So remember, this is very useful for skiing moguls, steep terrain. If you're gonna go down a cool wall, narrow terrain or short radius turns, anything in the short game of skiing, a braquage is a really useful tool to ensure you have the skill set to make that turn in a tight space. Last recap, in the full line, the rotation is gonna come from the leg rotating, not the hips or the upper body. Poles in the ground to support me. Hips roll over the feet, over here, ski pivot. So to perform these linked pivot turns in a narrow corridor, it's really important that you make sure your upper body continues to face down the full line. It's very common that people start rotating their hips and the upper body here. Remember the leg rotation is the most important thing. It's also important to finish off your turns, get the skis right around to 180 degrees in each direction. Otherwise your speed will increase too much for the type of turn you're making and staying inside the corridor.